Cebu is one of the country's top tourist destinations, and it is getting its act together to cash in on greater efforts to market the Philippines overseas. Paul Hanson tells us why a visit to Cebu's various attractions is a must for travelers. These fisher folk near Mactan Cebu are now used to island hopping tourists dropping in on their sanctuary. And they're cashing in. There's an entrance fee to have a picnic in their beachfront or to swim in their waters. Their wares are also for sale, like these shell crafts made by the villagers. Indeed, more and more people in these parts are relying on tourism for their livelihood. Worldwide tourism is now a $1.7 trillion industry, as PCCI research shows. But last year, the Philippines generated only some $2.26 billion in tourism revenues. And while tourists worldwide are expected to grow to $1 billion by 2010, the Philippines is expected to attract only half of a percent of that number. So the private sector is working to boost the industry. Unless the five A's are integrated, meaning arrival, uh, access, accommodations, attractions and activities, if any one single factor is not there, it will not be a long-term sustainable uh, program. And we are God blessed with some of the best uh, beaches, best natural attractions, but we don't have the airports, we don't have the uh, cemented roads that will bring you to the attractions within an hour. So all of these are you know, uh, well, where we should put in money. This Cebu-based resort chain owner is working to address two major A's, accommodations and attractions. The director of tourism, um, Director Roa, and also the secretary of tourism has been telling all the private sectors to build more rooms or to, to add, um, to put resorts in, in Cebu. Um, because there are a lot of tourists coming in. In fact, there it's not the, really the problem of the tourists, it's a problem of the lack of rooms. There are about 7,000 hotel and resort rooms in Cebu, but industry players estimate they will need more than double that number within five years to accommodate the growing number of tourists. Maribago Blue Water Beach Resort is a five-hectare white sand property in Mactan Island. It boasts of 90 deluxe and bungalow accommodations operating on 87% occupancy, 90% of which are foreign guests. Maribago has become popular for its 110 meters of white sand beach front. There are attractions such as a number of water sports as well as island hopping. The resort also has fine dining facilities and entertainment. But having the resort facilities and attractions is just half the job done, especially since Cebu hopes to draw in some half a million foreign guests next year. The private sector intends to generate some $5 billion in investments for infrastructure to make sure they're ready when the tourists come in. Paul Hanson, ABS-CBN Business. The country's economic managers have decided to cut the oil import tariff to 1% from 3% to soften the impact of high world oil prices. Reuters quotes Finance Undersecretary Hill Beltran as saying the National Economic Development Authority is preparing the proposed executive order after the plan was approved in a meeting of the government's economic team. The draft order is likely to be issued on or before May 14. The government will talk with oil firms to discuss measures to soften the effects of high oil prices. This report tells us pump prices are expected to rise regularly for the next six weeks. The Energy Department plans to call for an oil summit to draft strategies aimed at cushioning the impact of soaring fuel prices. According to Undersecretary Peter Abaya, the President will lead the summit together with industry players. This meeting was presided by Energy Secretary Rafael Lutilia in as part of preliminary discussions with oil firms. Lutilia says all petroleum companies are committed to increase the number of pumping stations that give out one peso diesel discounts for public transport. We will work together with the DOE to make sure that these difficult times are uh, not affecting the, the public. I don't want to say the numbers right now, but it represents a 50% increase over what we had as of, uh, as of last year. 
Meanwhile, Filipina Shell will start selling gasoline blended with ethanol beginning next week. In the past, the uh, Bureau of Internal Revenue was finalizing the, the guidelines, but in the meantime, following those same guidelines, we were already able to effect the uh, importation. But the prospects of stable retail prices remain bleak. Abaya says, based on current adjustments in world oil prices, the 50 centavo per liter weekly hike may continue until June. Abaya's data indicate MOPS-based finished diesel rose to $91 per barrel from an average of $78 a barrel in March. Finished gasoline in Dubai prices have remained volatile as well. Dito sa presyo ng Marso hanggang Abril, meron tayo nakita mga apat hanggang anim na linggo pang pagkakyap. Yung doon June pa yun, sir? Yes. Uh, hindi pa kasali ang anong posibleng average ng Mayo. We will continue doing this gradual adjustment para hindi naman mabigla yung publiko. Petron Corporation confirms LPG prices are likely to increase by more than a peso per kilo next month. As expected, the transport group seeks a one peso and 50 centavo hike in minimum fare due to rising fuel prices. Cheryl Mundo... ...is not known to exist in the U.S. Goldman Sachs, one of the world's biggest investment banking and securities firms, is interested in moving funds into tourism projects in Subic and Clark, as well as in mining and energy. Trade Secretary Peter Favila says he learned about this from a meeting with Tom Morgan, the firm's chairman for Asia. Favila says this is the first time that Goldman Sachs will invest in projects in the Philippines outside of bonds and stocks. He says Morgan indicated the group's interest in building a high-end exclusive resort similar to the exclusive Manpulo. Favila says socio-economic planning secretary Romulo Neri offered Buswanga in Palawan as an ideal site. He adds Goldman Sachs also inquired about the facilities in the Biniktikan area of Subic as well as Clark. And the economic team sounded off Mimosa and Clark, which is up for privatization. The group also expressed interest in the privatization of government's power generation and transmission assets. Cebu is one of the country's top tourist destinations and it Good opportunity. City State Savings Bank says its net income rose by 288% for the first quarter of the year to a little over 700 million pesos from 1.8 million last year. The bank attributes the increase to the expansion of its loan portfolio in consumer banking, which grew by 128% to 1.5 billion in the period, from 657 million in the same period last year. City State's total deposits also grew 61% to 1.3 billion this year. City State's closed flat at 1975. Global logistics firm DHL Express Philippines opens its fifth DHL service point outlet at the power plant mall in Brockwell Center in Makati. The retail outlet is targeted to cater to the needs of individuals and small and medium enterprises. It offers a new product called Express for You, an international service for packages weighing half a kilogram to 25 kilograms. DHL country manager Larry Liamzon says the DHL service point is an important factor in the company's plan to expand its operations in the country. DHL service points are found in Quezon City, Libis, and Alabang. That's business, and we're on nightly. On behalf of David Seldran, I'm Alvin El Chico. Thanks for watching.